I'm going to fix this iPhone. It's got a couple of things wrong with it. It needs a new screen because this one's liquid damaged. And also I need to replace these volume and mute buttons on the side here because it has had water ingress. It's um, damaged with flex. So I've got a replacement flex here which is actually a used part. It's an Apple original but it's out of another phone. Hopefully this works okay. I don't know. I'll just purchase this online and it's turned up and at least it's an Apple original part. So it should just drop straight in. So we'll get this thing apart and we'll fix it. So this screen is held on by tape. I've just taken that tape off. And you can see it's got this crack through here. This crack is actually on the screen protector itself. It's got a high protector and it's actually on the protector. The screen itself isn't cracked. But it does have liquid damage so I'm still going to replace it. And because when it got dropped it's also popped out these screws in the bottom here. It's all pretty bad. They're gone. I don't know where they are. <laughs> anyway, we'll get the thing fixed. So I've got to get the thing apart first. So as our screws already missing it should just pop off. Now I've taken the tape off the sides. Yep, there we go. It's starting to come up. Let's get a spudger, shove that in there, run it on the edge, and that should just pop up. And the same on the other side, here we go. Now, on this one, because it's an iPhone 6, so it flexes up the top. So, first, I've got to do is pull the battery off. Let's shove this up like that. I'll just do that to hold the screen out of the way, so I have to worry about trying to hold it up with my fingers at the same time. So, let's get this panel here off. And whenever I take the parts off, I lay them out on my table in the right sequence. That way, when I pick back up again, I know where all the parts go. Right. So, small plastic spudger. Shove this under here. Pop the battery off. Just like that. Once that's disconnected, then you're safe to do the screen stuff. So, we'll get this off. Oh, I've changed my camera angle. This isn't working, is it? This might be slightly better. Now as I don't do a lot of iPhone stuff, I do some but not a huge amount. I'm not very fast at this. <laughs> so you'll see people which are faster because they do it all the time, whereas, well, I don't. So it takes me a little bit longer. Alright, plastic spudger again. Be careful when you're digging around. If, if you use anything sharp, you're going to potentially rip components of the circuit board around these sockets. So you have to be a little bit careful with that. Alright, so I'm going to try and get my hand out of the way. Can I do this without blocking the camera? Not really. I have to do it left handed. Let's move this around here. Hold on. Let's readjust. Let's do it left handed. Is that one there? That one there? And that one there? And then this one here? There we go. This one flexes off. Now we can take the screen out. So I need to replace the screen as well, so I need to do all that assembly too. Now because I've worked on this before, I haven't actually glued the battery back in again. It's still stuck because it's just residual glue, but I've actually stuck it back in, it's just sitting in there. So I should actually be able to just pop it out. What I actually did before to give it like a temporary repair is I actually disconnected that flex because what it's doing is always turning the volume all the way up. <laughs> so I actually disconnected it, so it's actually floating around over here. So that's what I did at the time. So there's the battery, obviously so you're not stuck down. And there's the piece we've got to fix over here. So this has got to come out, I've got to take these little screws out here, this bracket, and there's the flex there, which will match up with the one I've got over here in this bag. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this bracket here off right now. This is the one which normally holds that flex down. And get that bracket there off. So that's where the flex goes, is right there. So this will have to be peeled up and need to unscrew. I don't know if I can get to that one as well actually. This could be a pain. I might have to take logic board out because there's a screw right there which I need to get out. I may or may not be able to get to it. Uh, I might be okay. I might have to take this corner section here out because it's got this little assembly over here in the corner which has got a few screws hold it in. If I take that out of the way, there might be enough to get to that screw without taking the logic board out. We'll give it a go. Let's see if we can get in there like this first. Might be lucky, but I doubt it. No. So let's take this other assembly here out the corner here. Yeah, I know I'm blocking the camera a little bit. Sorry about that. There's not much I can do. Here's what it is. So now I've got that piece out. Maybe I'll get to that screw. Just. Is it turning? It doesn't appear to be.
No, no, there we go. It's going now. Because of it being liquid damage in this area, things are a bit tight. So I'm blocking the view of the camera again. Professional YouTuber, sure. <laughs> I'm not a professional YouTuber, I'm just a YouTuber, not professional. Right. That's what I do to kill time. Lots and lots and lots of time. Right, so that should now come away from there. And what I've got to be careful of as well is when I put this thing back together is that the switch position here is correct. Otherwise when you reassemble it the switch won't actually work. So you have to make sure you watch out for that. So that's all free, so I can pull this bracket up now. And there we go. That is out. Might have a look in there, no it looks okay. Checking for any problems. Like corrosion and stuff, but there's the switch assembly. Let's get the new one. Unfortunately, it doesn't actually have the switch on it. I'm gonna have to fit that on. I'm stuck on this. Looks like I've got to slide it up or pull it out or something. There we go. Let's set one off. A little bit fiddly, but it's not too bad. And pop that out, there we go, that's on there. So, there you go, that's easy enough, that's fine. That's alright. That's working correctly. That's surprisingly easy, actually. Other phones, it's built into the side of the chassis, and you have to make sure you get it aligned correctly. So in this situation, it's actually slightly better the way I've got it set up, which is quite nice. Having something improved is good. <laughs> Let's shovel this back in here. Got to realign everything. This is where the tweezers come in handy. I think I'll put the middle screw in first because that should hold both brackets at once. The screw's a bit worse for wear. Because of the corrosion that got in this area, it's been a bit of a problem anyway. It's going in. So I can tighten that one up. Tighten this one up. Tighten that one up. And let's just do a test. Clicks. Clicks. Yep, that feels fine. Cool. We'll put our flex back on. Try and find where it sits. There we go, that's it. Now this is, as you can see, this is all a bit misaligned here. I need to pop this up into that corner like that. And hopefully there's some residual glue here which will hold it down. <laughs> Yep, there it is. That'd be alright. Assuming, of course, it works. So let's put the top piece back together again. I'm looking, it's a little bit dirty. This is like an antenna section. No, it's just a little bit dust on it. I'll give that a bit of a clean up before I put that back in. Alright, let's put this back in again now. I've given it a bit of a clean. Sits in like that. Let's get the screws in there. You can see I put the battery back in just to hold that flex down. It's not actually connected up, it's just sitting in there. Okay, let's put the cover back on. Okay. So that bit should now work and be done. Now I need to do the screen, which is obviously in a pretty bad way. So here we have a brand new screen. There'll be a link for this thing down below in the description if you need to get a screen. These is, uh, I, I, I found quite a good supplier in China. They're pretty good pricing and they're good quality screens. And they've actually got some parts which are already pre-installed. Got these little plastic bits up here which means you don't have to mess around with those and um, yeah I've been happy with them, they've been good quality screens so now we've transplanted all the stuff from this screen onto this one so let's just start dismantling it we get the home button stuff off first there's the 
there's the cover. Got this back plate to take off. We also have to take this camera assembly off the top here as well. This is actually looking a bit corroded. That's a little bit concerning. The camera might be damaged. We shall see. Let's pull this out of here. Try and get this microphone section and stuff up here as well. We've got to get that out. Come on, off you come. Yes, I'm using sharp metal tweezers for this. <laughs> Not the best thing actually. Come on, doesn't want to lift up. Here we go. So here is like the speaker part here. Move that out of the way. Try and lift this up, come on, it's all stuck down really well. <laughs> come on, lift off. There we go, alright, that's our part out. Now it's got this little bezels come with it, I'm going to take this little bezel off, that can stay because the new screen has one on it. Shut the back in here. Yeah, it's definitely dirt on the camera. That's a concern. It may be damaged slightly. I don't have a replacement either. It may just be a little bit of dirt. I don't know, it's just wiping off, so I don't know. This guy does a lot of fishing, a lot of sea fishing. There's no signs of it anywhere else. Like the pads and stuff over here look okay. Connector looks alright, so it may just be nothing. It might just be off the aluminium, you know, and part of the board. Um, I'll give that a proper clean though, because I'm not happy about that camera. That needs a proper clean up. I'll do it now before I forget. Right now we've got that done, let's get this frame off here. Um, yeah, I'll do this one first. A little bit of corrosion on these screws on the side here as well. Now something I do have is a sealant strip which goes around the outside of the screen. Yeah, these are a little bit rusted. All of them are a little bit bad. I think I've got some new screws actually somewhere. I think I do actually have, have spares for this. These are all rusty. So I'm not happy about that, using those again. So I saw the damage is down the same side of the phone. Luckily not on the logic board side. If it's logic board side then it could be a real problem. So yes, yeah, so I've got some spare screws for this, I might actually replace those rusty screws. And so I've got a sealant strip which goes around the outside, they actually stick it onto the body of the phone. And it helps to um, prevent liquid ingress. Lift this off. Now I've also got to, before I lift it off, I need to pop this off here, which is the home button. Pop that off there. We'll try and lift this home button up. Be careful not to damage this. Very important not to damage this. There's the home button. That's been out before, so not exactly stuck in. And then we've got to lift up the flex here as well. So we've got to get on this and lift this flex up. unstick it, there we go, that will now come up as an assembly and you can see the liquid has got through to here as well a little bit hoping the flex is okay but the actual, oh I've still got a film on there what's it still got a film on there? <laughs> that's not meant to be on there um, but yeah it's had liquid in here, you can see residue over here in this area over here. I know on the screen itself has actually got some artifacts in this area. So this side is what's been damaged so but yes yeah, film's not supposed to still be on there. <laughs> anyway, the mind that is done with. Now we get the new one. What I might actually do is just see if I can clean this up a little bit. I just don't like to put that back on as it is. I'll give this a clean. Alright let's get this new film off. And send me back on like that. Looks like I'm going to replace some of these screws. I need replacing. I'll do that afterwards. I'll get the body of it together first. Here 
you also have so that assembly there, put back together and these screws here so let's drop this assembly in now we've got to peel this sticky stuff off here off so we can stick down the microphone part so off now I always forget which sequence these flexors go in, always forget so I think this one goes on top and this these two go underneath I'm pretty sure I could be wrong <laughs> I always forget that so there's a little pin which this thing goes over to locate it let's find that pin then we can push that down that will then be stuck down in the right place like that then we have to pop all these other bits in pretty sure this one goes underneath like that I always forget now we need to get the loudspeaker assembly underneath all this stuff shove this under here this is always the fiddly bit always a fiddly bit just try and line it up in there there's the line up that little rubber buffer for the earpiece piece earpiece piece <laughs> alright I think that's in that will then drop down those will drop down to those pins it's all good and then we can put the cover here back on alright so I need to make sure this flex sequence is correct so when I go and put it in the phone, it all folds over nicely as it should. I think that's okay. I'll find out when I put it on. If it doesn't want to line up properly, then I'll know. I know these two are correct, because the sequence I have to lay down in. That's definitely right. Where this one goes underneath or above, I don't remember. I'll have to find out. I always forget that bit. So, home button. Now really this needs a well good clean for a start. And um, a bit of gunk in here. It really needs a new sticky piece to hold it down. I don't have any. I need to get some more. I'll shut the button in, so I'll give them that clean up. It won't stick because I don't have any of those adhesive pads at the moment. That's lined up onto those pins. Yep. So now this little flex should button down onto the other one. Now put that bracket back over the top. Right, let's find some screws to replace those rusty ones. So annoyingly I can't find the screws, which I know I've got. <laughs> Annoying. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of white vinegar on these. And this will help to get rid of some of the corrosion. And that will be what I'll do for the time being. Um, but yeah, it's a bit annoying, I'd rather replace these screws. But for the time being I just have to do this and um, try and clean up a little bit. Maybe put a little bit in these holes as well, just to help stop any corrosion that's in there. Just a little drag on there just to help it. Mind you, it shouldn't be because that's, that should, would be on the old screen actually, wouldn't it? Not a new screen, but it might be on a little bit on the shield. Yeah. I'll come back in a few minutes after so I've had a bit of time to activate. So these are the films which has got like a rubber membrane, well adhesive membrane around the outside there which you put on. So the orientation is not obvious but there's like a little square cutter here which represents the camera and if you look at them closely you'll see these little notches and stuff all kind of line up and they'll go on that way up. So you peel one membrane off, lay it down, peel the other membrane off once it's stuck down. So we'll do that whilst we're waiting for these screws to cook. So I've already cleaned around the edge of the chassis, get any dust and grime off, I've already done all that. So I need to peel this off and we'll get a corner lined up and then go from there. Go for that top corner there. And try and get it lined up nicely, hopefully. There we go. Save on this one. Oh, sliding off. Come on. Because I've got the battery terminal sticking up. It's 
pushing it over. That's going to be annoying. <laughs> so, I'll bet this in. Mine's slightly off. It's a little bit fiddly. Not too bad, but a little bit. Let's just run around the edge of that. They're just slipping off, so I think I'll try and peel this off and move it over a little bit actually. Try to. I'll come back once I've got that on. It's a bit fiddly. Okay, so I'm peeling this off now. Okay. So that's ready to go. Just gonna use my tweezers just to poke it in where it's lifted slightly. So make sure it's bedded down all the way around like it's supposed to be. It's probably a better technique than what I just used, but uh it's just slipped off slightly on this edge. Here we go. Very fiddly, it's a very fine little strip. There's not much of an edge for it to go onto either, so it doesn't take much for it to slip off. Okay, that's on. So that's ready to go. How the screws going? Yeah, they're looking slightly better. Let's give these a clean up and put them on. Well, I plugged it all back together. It's just sitting there right now. Also, you replace those screws. Let's do a power test. The screen looks good. Don't let the bubble fade because this has got this film on here. So let's see if buttons are working, that sort of stuff. Touch is working. That's good. I know I activate touch ID, that's fine because oh no, oh no, it's already broken, that's fine. Home button is working. Cancel. I would like to check the camera out, but I don't have the passcode for it. Um, that, that switch is working. Volume buttons aren't working, but it's probably because it's not currently active. Hopefully, it does actually work. That seems to basically be working, so I'll put it back together. So how I thought these flexors were was correct, so the other flexor goes to the side, does go on the top, that's fine, I didn't remember that correctly. So I'll put the uh, cover back on first, oh, let's pop the battery back off for the net, just in case I touch something, just a good precaution. There we go, now we'll do this, and get that screwed down. It would be nice if I could actually test the touch function properly in the um, camera and stuff like that, but as I don't have the passcode, I can't test those things. I mean, I don't know if you can see on camera there's a little red dot just next to the shield. Um, that means this part of the circuit's got wet. Now, I did actually do some cleaning up on it when I first got this phone. Did a lot of work on that part of it. There wasn't damage around here, which I fixed up, just corrosion, very light corrosion. Let's put these in. Right, that can go back together, and hopefully it works. So I'll slot the top of the phone in, the top of the screen, slot that in first, give it a push, bed it in, and then come down the sides and try and evenly push it. Come on, here we go. This corner's not wanting to go in. There's always one bit, isn't there? Who is it in? No, it is in. That's okay, that is in. Just. I think there's a bit of damage on this corner of the phone. I think it's very slightly bent. Yeah, it's about the same. So I think it's okay. Good there. That's looking alright. So, let's replace those screws that which are missing. Now, I do have these ones. These are bottom case screws. Try not to drop it and lose it. Power up again, make sure. Yep, yeah, we got power. Cool. Happy with that. Check the videos at the end of this video. 
any other playlists for Apple repairs, iPhone repairs, MacBooks, that kind of stuff. Any other general electronic repairs that I do, my mailbag videos or product reviews, that sort of stuff. Check those playlists out at the end there and the links down below in the description for anything like the screens, purchase, you know, purchase links for those. And I'll catch you in the next one. This is like a successful repair. Apart from the Touch ID, but that's already broken. That already didn't work.